<laughs> hey people, Broken Puppet, and this is how to draw a neo traditional pocket wash design. Enjoy. Hey people, how to draw a neo traditional pocket wash design. Get something rec uh, rectangular? Get something circle. Yeah, it's not gonna work on a rectangle shape. Sorry people, it's been a long day. So, get yourself a circle shape. Bring a circle shape within that circle shape. Leave about the same kind of gap the whole way around. Scoop scratch it until you feel about right. Bring another line slightly closer to the outside edge this time. So you've got a slightly thinner gap here compared to this. Center point. I'm going to bring, put my watch at an angle. So I'm going to bring a line across. Line across, so divide it into four and then just divide it. So you have three spaces in between each one. Or each quarter, rather. Bring a secondary circle just on the inside. sort of sketchily just put it in for a minute now I'm gonna have my 12 here so above this is where I'm gonna have the chain and stuff so I'm gonna do four loops one two three four little circle bit on top circle on top of that and then I'm gonna have my ring just on top of that basically but I'm gonna do an S shape so you start a curve here bring it out across go the other way on the edge of it, bring a curve, mimic that line again across, and just bring a little curve back. Don't close it off for a minute because we're going to have a rose fit in between that gap. Same on the bottom here, exact same thing. Go there, again the rose is going to fit in that kind of gap. So, what I'm going to do now is just Pen in a few of these lines. One, two, three, four. Go around there. Bring this up. Once it touches the ring, just curve the other way. Yeah, not my best ring. But it'll do. Now if you need to turn your paper, feel free to. You don't have to keep it dead still. But I would normally turn my paper to get my circle belt. This isn't going to be perfect because I'm not turning it. Everyone always gets to a certain point when they kind of feel comfortable with their circle, you know, at certain angles. Mine isn't from the same spot in every angle. I don't think anyone's is. Let's bring that down a bit. So 12 is going to be at this point, so we're going to go 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, B, 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 1, B, 
one v one 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 x x x one x one two and I would like to put a yeah, little line just around the bottom and the top. Mine's far from perfect, but you know, don't worry too much about it. Take your time, you know, if I was doing laps properly, I would take my time with it. But also, I'm having to be a bit quick here. Bring in that secondary line. And again, if you need to turn your paper, feel free to. Also, I'm trying to keep it in the same place for you guys. line just there for detail and we'll put the handles in a bit and I will put that top in there so look at us thinking I'm not missing one of them there we go so it's gonna put get a little line on the top and the bottom all the way across and then you can get your letters nice and even, just stick to the highest and lowest points being on those lines. Typical one, just basic letter and time heels. Some bold letter in. You can get more fancy if you want. I think a lot of time with these ones, sometimes the more basic the better. Yeah, not my best later on. But that'll do for now. So, getting the roses. Get a circle with it in those circle shapes. So, circle there, circle there. And I'm going to start building up the bud. So bring a straight line out across, a few little bunts back, line out, bend that line. So you go up, across, bring it back. When you get to the center bit, just curve back to the original part. And curve this one up, go up to it. I think I might create a curve at the top, curve over, one little bump, maybe two there. And just fill out those side bits on the sides. It's going to break some petals, so bring the line out, curve it up, bend the other way, curve inwards, curve line up, outwards, inwards. I'm going to put in a secondary line there so you've got a bit of an overturn. Curve that back, might have this one overlapping a touch, curve down, 
how so it sort of cuts off into this space just here. Might have leaf there, leaf, leaf, or second bits. Same kind of one on the bottom, so I'm gonna speed through this one. Thicker one, then just come in with some little refined details with a thinner pen. A thinner pen, a thinner pen. God, am I really that tired? Jesus. Just putting all those lines I drew. Those little rose bits up there. So I'm just going to bring in V shape down, curve that out, curve down. And on this side, I'm just going to bump that out. V shape, curve in, curve out, a little bit lower, curve in. V shape, V shape, little flower. V shape, V shape, little flower, V shape, curve in, V shape, curve in, to work. Let me start a little detail bit. So what I'm going to start here, a little line just above the center of each one of these. And just four little ones on the inside. One, two, three. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four,
there, isn't it? Just some random lines coming inside off of those leaves. So, I'm going to pick a time, let's see, what time should I put, mm, say half five, should say half five. No, let's make it 7 o'clock, I think. So, give yourself in the middle. Bring out your point. Just going to create a couple of curves off of this one. Curve there. Blank ball in the centre. And then basically just create like a fancy pattern. Come out the other side a bit. On that side. And then this one's going to be longer, remember, so I'm going to go over the number and come back. Yeah, just go over those ones. Just pull it out, of touch. There you go. I mean, it's just it's pretty much just any fancy little pattern you can think of, really. And then you can just rub out the last of that line work. And then we'll do some shading. I'm just going to use my brush markers as per usual. Feel free to use whatever you want to use. Just copy what you do, or what you use, with what you see me doing. Start with this pocket watch. Just going to flick in some black on either side. These are just Windsor Newton brush markers. I'm sure you guys seen me use these a hundred times before. I'm just going to flick in this one, so that bit's at the top bit, this bit's at the bottom bit. So it kind of switches sides. So we kind of get a shine going one way and a shine going the other. That's what we're after. Similar sort of thing, just on the top of this bit. A little bit of a twisted black just on the inside of this. Just kind of give that metallic kind of shine. And just a little bit through the centre of these. Should do better. And then I'm going to get me. If I can find them. The orange. My yellow, but where's my brown? So I'm going to work a brown just into that black. You can work your yellow straight into it if you want, but I like to get a transition of the colour going into it. So just work in a brown. Just over those black bits in the pocket watch. I mean, this is if, you, if your watch is going to be gold, you know. I'm just assuming like they usually are when they're in colour. A little bit of orange just off the side of that. Nothing too much. And I can go into the golden yellow. I want to get to that, I'm just going to flick it and let it just go to white. Same thing on this bottom part. shine just in a few little places a 
Not too much, but just enough to give it a bit of a different feel. Can we get a pro marker? I found the um, blender. It's going to do the old blending trick you guys see me do a million times. So hold the blender to the tip of the marker. Just hold it there for so long. You know, I mean, if it's a short little area, it doesn't have to be too long. But it's going to be quite a lot of large area because I want it to go over that center. There we go, she did a trick. Just test it to see if it is translucent. Just repeat your pattern going up and down as your colour slowly comes back into it. And same again, just come the other way. You do want to try and slightly overlap each line with this technique to get the smoothest blend. Wider areas can be a bit tricky. Shorter areas are a lot easier. But that practice makes perfect. And take your time with it, I'm being a bit rushed with it. Just trying to get it in there. Oops. Wrong dip. And there, can go on there. Some shadow in my roses. I've got a nice black on back. So it's going to be a little bit of black just on the inside of the petal bits, just there. Maybe a little bit just there. Pretty much any time it's kind of underneath. So like here, just underneath that bit. And from there. Then we just come up the center of the leaves. And the bottoms of them. To begin with, just gonna wipe the brown over that. Just a little bit, just for one bit of shadow. So just here, just underneath these bits, a bit on the sides of these centre parts. Just a bit flicking out that bottom. It ain't too crazy. Some parts will go bold, certain parts I won't where I want certain highlights. It's important to try and make your shading look like it evens up as you go past these bits. So you feel like you're on the same kind of petals. Top part now. Just some greater shine down the center of each one of these. Yeah. 
this pinky colour. Slow you on the edge a bit. And then change my mind. Give me the red. I'm going to use the blender technique over it. Because it's shorter, as you can hold it for a bit less time now. Just do it, test it, see through, ready to go. Try not to overwork certain areas too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Almost there. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you get it just for you. Take your time with it. It looks really good. As per usual, I kind of power through that one. I'm just going to grab my pink. Just colour in those little few inside bits. Orange. Let's 
couple of nice big V-shapes we've done. Orange as well, I think. And the center part up the petals. Green. Green over those leaf bits. And then get me blue. I'm just gonna put in blue line just coming through the center. A lot of time it's traditionally done red, but because of the red flowers. So now I've done that, it's going to add some more highlights. This is a white Prisma pencil. Just doing this to kind of give a hint of the glass being round in that centre. Bit of white in those little gaps we left. There, little ball. A little line come up that side, a little line come up that side, a little bit on the side if you want, just to kind of bring it out. The line just through those little highlights and the flowers. You can take your time and blend it out really, I'm just going to flick in a line. Just like so. It will line up each petal part. Boom. There you have it. That's how to draw a new traditional pocket watch design. You can add a chain if you want, which I shall do now actually. And you can do sort of fancy chains if you want, or simple ones. Now I'm just going to do a simple ball one. Just repeat balls, just going in a random curve. Until so eventually it just disappears behind something. You can have a curve around the spot, like you can imagine it coming through there, and then you can just like pick it up again the other side. Here's a good little joiner, you know, if you want to sort of get a, something going through the whole thing. Just cut those bits in yellow. Take your time, I'm literally just chucking that on there. Really shouldn't do that, but... The white splash just on each one. There you go. That is it. Simple, easy, easy, lemon squeezy. I hope you like it. Comment, subscribe, yada yada. You guys know the usual routine. I'm the American Puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.